receive your secure strap, it'll be somewhat assembled. We'll need to take it apart before you can attach it to your mask. This will leave you with three separate pieces. You'll have the male quick disconnect snap, a short piece we call the cross loop, and then the long strap itself. Attaching the secure strap to the mask is pretty straightforward. Obviously you need to remove the existing mask strap first. Take the long piece of secure strap and start threading the loose end into the mask buckle assembly. If you're right handed, I suggest starting with the right buckle assembly so that the quick disconnect snap stays on the right hand side. Pull all the excess webbing through until you've got about two inches left on the end. Before we thread the other end through the mask, we're going to attach the short cross loop. Just thread it through the loop that's on this short piece of webbing and pull the excess through. Now all we need to do is thread the other buckle assembly on the mask with the secure strap. You might want to have an extra pair of tweezers or pliers lying around to make this process go more smoothly depending on the kind of mask you have. We now need to thread the loose end back through the cross loop, but first we need to double the cross loop back on itself, securing it in place with the buckle supplied. Then thread the loose end through the loop you just created. We'll adjust the length of the cross loop later on. Right now we need to attach the male quick disconnect snap to the loose end of the webbing. Simply pull the webbing through and fold it back on itself. Once this is in place, we just connect the male and female parts of the quick disconnect snap. Then the mask strap has been assembled. With the quick disconnect snap unclipped, place the secure strap over your head. Just situate the mask on your face and then you'll be able to work with the strap in the back of your head. Find the male section of the quick disconnect snap and attach it to the female section. Once this is done, pull the loose end of the webbing to take up any slack. Now you can adjust the strap on the back of your head to where it is most comfortable for you. You can also adjust the length of the cross loop and make sure that it's nice and secure. Any loose end of the strap can be thread back through the cross loop so that it doesn't float around behind you. You're all done.